Welcome to the WNIT second round post-game press conference, joined by head coach Missy Bilderback of the UL Warhawks. Coach Bilderback will make an opening statement and introduce her players. Coach Bilderback. Yes, um, first of all, what a great, you know, great night. Um, just what a great crowd. And I just have to commend both, uh, you know, the ULM crowd tonight and also the Grambling crowd for coming out and just what – a great time to be in Northeast Louisiana and um, for women's basketball to have that type of atmosphere and crowd. So, you know, um, Coach Simmons does a great job. Uh, they have a great team. They've had a fantastic year, year one for her. So first I want to say congratulations to her. Um, but I just, this is Brianna Harris to my right, Ja'Kayla Johnson to my left. And I'm just so proud of, you know, our team and how we came out, the energy level that we came out with. I um, thought our defensive effort early was really, really good and set the tone and obviously these two had big nights tonight um, so uh, just really proud of our team I thought it was a group effort we had a lot of different people step up but uh, just a great night overall at Fant tonight. Well, time for questions. First coach of the game in 30 years I mean you guys just tell me what it was like to be part of history especially after 17 days off and how it's good to be able to come back on the court <laughs> and perform like that. Yeah. We were definitely a little worried about um, just having that time off and, you know, not play in the last few weeks. you got to really give our players props on. They have been so good in practice. And, you know, you, you go to the Sun Belt Tournament and then you don't know your fate, whether you're going to play in the postseason or not. And our players just approached it every day. They were hungry to play. They wanted more basketball. And so, you know, they were ready. So you couldn't see any lag or any – I mean, they were ready to go and their effort was great. So, but, yes, absolutely. I'm just so happy for our team team that this group got to be the one. I don't know how many records we've broken this year, um, different streaks and records. And now we're, you know, we've got a 20 win season. And so, you know, I'm just really proud of our players and I'm so thankful, you know, they've all cho chose to go on this journey with us. And so I'm just so thankful they've, they're the ones that get to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I think one thing probably just limited, I thought our turnovers overall was a little bit high for what we normally have. I thought especially first half we had 13 turnovers. We don't normally have that many in a game, much less a half. Um, some of that obviously you got to give credit to Grambling and, and their pressure and the way they defended us. But I think we've got to cut down our turnovers. And, you know, I think just defensively, you know, we had moments where we were really, really good. And then maybe in the second quarter, like one key for us was not to let four get loose. She's a great three-point shooter. And so we lost her a few times and gave them a big second quarter there. But overall, just really pleased. I thought our effort was great. Um, energy was so good. And, and, you know, our kids just played their hearts out. Really proud of them. Especially the atmosphere just with this program you're taking on right now. I mean, with Grambling as well, with a lot of history being made in this region. Right. Like, how do you, I guess, I know you're still in this season right now, but how do you feel like this region just capitalized on, you know, what's taking place? It seems like the, the eyeballs are coming left and right on, on these programs. Right, right. Absolutely. I mean, I think just – you know, what great examples um, on both teams, but what great examples, you know, for young kids to look at. Look how Bree plays the game. Look at the energy that JK plays with. And, you know, the versatility, like Bree's not your normal post player, right? <laughs> She'd step out and shoot the three and do a lot of different things. And so I think more than anything for young kids, one, it gives them an example of, you know, how to have fun and play the game with great joy, you know, but also just for the general area of Northeast Louisiana, like there, there's, you know, not many teams playing basketball right now in the state of Louisiana, and we're one of them. And so we're thankful, you know, to continue to be playing. And we just really appreciate the entire community and the support um, tonight. thought it was fantastic. Good, Coach. You brought the energy, as always. Zooming <laughs> out a little bit into the court, too. Game-high 30 points, eight boards. Just tell me how you were able to have that performance tonight. Um, I actually lost someone who was very important to me. Um, so I knew I had to come out and play with a chip on my shoulder and do it for him. So I knew I had to just do me, just play play the game and play it with joy. And then the last thing you decided you're going to stay here for next year too. Just tell me what this community, what this team, what Coach Bilderbeck means to you. Coach Bilderbeck means a lot to me. I started out my college career with Coach Bilderbeck. So I feel like just start staying another year and just finishing out with the coach that I started with, um, I, that's the best thing I could do. And Brianna, as one of the leaders on this team, I mean, you really set the tone early in this game. Just talk about your own performance tonight. Um, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't really just – looking for the points, but I knew that uh, we were coming out playing with a chip on our shoulder. Um, we lost the game in the uh, tournament by three. So for me, it was like, dang, you know, we got something to do. We got something to prove. And so I just knew, like, we weren't going home. And, uh, you know, I want to win this thing. So. Looking ahead now, I mean, Coach, I 
know how special it's going to be for you to host Southern Miss here. What's that going to be like? Yeah, obviously, you know, um, I, they're a great they're a great team, and they're hot right now. And obviously, they've got um, you know a, a, a lot of momentum coming in. And so, I am thankful it's going to be here. Um, one, I'm thankful because you know our our players will have another chance to play in Fant. So, I know it's a quick turnaround, but I just want to encourage everybody in the community and Warhawk faithful to come on out and support these young ladies one more time. You know, we might not get to host again down the road, so it's likely to be our last one at FANT, so I just encourage everyone to be here. Um, but yeah, absolutely, like playing another sun, playing a Sun Belt team, and we're so familiar with them. I don't even know. I mean, I think they could do the scout right now, probably because we played them um, so much. But but yeah, just another good team, and it's going to be a great challenge. But we're certainly excited about it. All right, thank you. Thanks Thank so you. much.